What is going on everyone? Parsnip here and today we are back with another episode of our Let's Build an Adventure map. Now guys, worry not, I will be continuing the other series in a bit, but for now let's go ahead and get started. So to begin with, I continue making the entrance zone. Pretty much this is a little area towards the right after you spawn. I did leave some open areas so if you guys do decide to live here, you guys will have enough room and things like that just so that you guys are you know in a place that you can make your own so here in this cave that's towards the right i go ahead and make my own cave actually it's not a cave but i do make my own cave and connect it towards the bottom cave now here i'm going to be terraforming pretty much with the same theme that i did on the left side i still want this place to feel like it is one and all of that so by doing so i go ahead and make this biome look like it's the same biome you know so if you do decide to make something in between like that little foresty area in between the the spawn and this cave i think that's a great place to make a house or something like that it's a nice flat land and it's surrounded by a really amazing view so right on top of the cave i decided i want to put a tree now no real reason but i thought that this hill was boring and because i do feel that the hill is boring i am gonna change this hill and make it into a medium sized mountain which you guys will see in a bit and there's also another issue with this guys is that since i am putting a lot of stuff especially here in the entrance on the, the spawn if you don't have a good PC and for example a blizzard starts happening towards the top or the left side you will get a bit of lag and you will see this later on that I do start to lag so I am going to tone it down on the entrance bit I think for now it is pretty solid and I'm going to just start building towards the sides more. Uh, especially if it is near a biome that has like storms for example that causes a lot of pixels and a lot of movements and it does indeed increase the lag now this is coming from me that has a decent pc it's nothing amazing but it's also not a bad one so if you do have a bad pc this might be an issue and you might have to lower your graphics at least in the spawn zone when a blizzard or a desert storm is happening however there's no deserts nearby so rest assured you will be fine on a blizzard and if it does become a problem just destroy the the snow biome you know and you should be good so here towards the the right side of the cave i did make like some sort of abandoned little necromancer's hut something that just gives a little bit of detail you know so you think that once you walk in here it's not just the same you walk in and you see oh all right maybe there was something here in the past like always i do like to make a bunch of these little details and a bunch of little structures that would make sense you know something that that feels like it would indeed belong and that's pretty much the whole idea with these little random bits of things that i do go ahead and put on the underground sections especially later you're gonna see this on this episode that i do make a lot of biomes a lot of small things or some structures and stuff like that pretty much i think those are very important on a build especially when you're exploring what i will be doing and you will see this as well later is that i'm going to be using the random teleportation potion to go ahead and make uh, random builds in random places so i'm just going to be doing that for quite some time and depending on the zone i spawn in or the biome i'm going to go ahead and make small different buildings or even biomes in, in general so towards the the right on top of that cave that i was making in the beginning is that mountain that i was mentioning and this is where you could see that since i did put a layer of sand or not sand dirt in the bottom it does keep snow you know the snow biome the snow particles from falling down the, the surface pretty much the, the bottom place so once you are walking there you won't see no snow however as soon as you get on top of the mountain you will start seeing snow and the higher you climb the more snow there will be so the, the layers of this mountain is pretty much dirt on the bottom on the near the top i go ahead and put stone on top of the stone i put ice and on top of the ice i finally put snow because i figured that makes a lot of sense and i do think this looks really good on the map for some reason it looks like i shaded it in or something along those lines so right here i go ahead and head towards a random location underground and start making a build now most of these underground builds what i do plan is to make it look semi-abandoned you know i don't want to be making complete and brand new shining builds 24 7. so most of the underground builds especially since there won't be any npcs or things like that 
will be, you know, semi-abandoned, you know, like, sort of if a, you know, some sort of snow caving, like an avalanche happened, and it covers parts of the build. You will see a good portion of the structure, and you can indeed make a base here. For example, if you come here, all you have to do is dig out a little bit, and the materials that you yourself dig out, for example, on this build, will serve as the bricks for the build itself. So I think that works really well. If you want some sort of a little base here or a structure to, to just live in underground, I think, for example, this one is a great one. You know, it's not big, I won't lie, it's not enough to make uh, a space for all of your NPCs. However, however, guys, it does look pretty cool. It does serve the purpose of an underground base. You know, you smack a teleporter in here, and then whenever you want to come, for example, fishing on the underground snow biome, bam, you're right next to a pretty decent sized lake. You might have to expand it a little bit, but you guys get the picture, right? But yeah, for this build itself, I go ahead and use some, um, I think it's teal paint as well as the frozen slime, blocks and walls, the ice bricks and the snow bricks as well as the ice brick walls and snow brick walls. The one thing that's not really on the snow theme is the wooden beams, but I do paint that teal. So it does sort of look like if wood was frozen and whatnot. Now this is a fur, not fully, but almost fully furnished house besides the chairs all you need to do again is put the chairs i have tried some of you guys' suggestions like destroying some backgrounds uh behind the, the bookshelves and stuff but npcs still seem to spawn i think if the majority of the background is on as long as the majority is on npcs will spawn i'm, I'm not really sure how that works uh, i didn't actually do any research but if i just remove the the non-visible backgrounds for example the ones behind the bookshelf I cannot or NPCs can still spawn but yeah the theme of this little base here is pretty much some sort of snow castle maybe this is where the frost queen or something along those lines lived in in the past maybe this is where the abominable snowman you know uh, has his residence and maybe in the past his family I also went ahead and put as a treat you know besides decorations like books and things like that furniture which Furniture is pretty much the main things you will be getting from my builds, you know, if you discover it, you're not going to find amazing swords or things like that. However, on this case, you will be able to get some costumes, which is the elf one and the Santa one. So I think overall, it's a pretty good place to go ahead and get some furniture to explore, just something that's unique to find on the snow biome, because of course, you don't normally see anything like that on the snow biome. Next up is one of those random structures that I was talking about before. Uh, this is pretty much not going to serve a real purpose besides being a all piece, right? You come here, you, for example, you randomly find this this place, right? You're digging, you're mining, you're searching for crystals or whatever. And you're like, oh wow, what? I wonder what that could be, and you just explore it. I think overall these structures are all pretty different. They're all unique. They all. They don't really all serve a purpose, but if you use your imagination, you can think, ah, oh, maybe this was a bridge to some, some castle or a bridge or some sort of minor shaft, something along those lines. Now, I do want to make most of them a little bit different, one from another, you know, be it the blocks or things like that. However, at the same time, some structures I do plan to repeat, not, not identically, but the theme. For example, I like this one a lot, so I might make maybe a cabin or something like that with the same materials, for example, you know, and with brown paint. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but for example, a lot of these things I painted brown because I, I figured it, it fit pretty well. And my main idea with this one itself was to make it look like it was some sort of bridge, you know, it brought you over this little lake area. I figured that maybe I could have made the lake a little bit bigger so it felt more natural, but yeah, I got lazy, <laughs> I won't lie. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really want to open up the place. Then the reason why I didn't want to open it is because of the background. Now this is a cave background. However, the natural spawning background is not the same as the one you mine. And you'll see this when I place some of them down that you will be able to tell the difference. And that's really weird in my opinion. Next up, I'm going to be doing a bit of what you guys will see on the next adventure map episode. And this is going to be some sort of uh, desert, not, not a temple, but a tomb, right? Pretty much a place where, you know, 
people would be buried again this is a place that you will see a trap that i made because i felt like doing the trap early on but then i decided that i would expand the build so so i decided to go ahead and leave the part where i make the trap on the recording and now this trap isn't an explosive trap or a lava fall trap or anything like that you know a boldo or a random darts it is a skeleton spawning trap so the thing is once you fall in here or you jump in here if you don't pay attention to the buttons or levers or things like that a bunch of skeletons will appear all around and jump on you right and this is a pretty easy place to get early on it's just in an open section of the desert biome you know you jump in one of those big holes this is what you'll see in the bottom however next episode i will be expanding it i will be making more structures and adding more skeletons so you guys got to be very careful when you come down here, especially if you're low level. If you're higher level, I don't think it really matters, but as long as you're not really high geared, if you have like six, seven skeletons fall on your head, you know, it'll probably be an issue. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this episode of the adventure map. Here you guys can go ahead and see pretty much what, I, what I've been working on and some screenshots and things like that which i will be placing them at the end of the build and as always guys thank you all for watching if you have any suggestions leave them in the comment section below and i'll catch you all next time